because I am like so hard on myself and I am like my biggest hater <laughs> and I'm constantly like trying to find some sense of purpose in every single day and I really really hate how my brain is just constantly like <laughs> like looking for meaning in literally every single thing because it makes living really really hard and then I also am constantly like wondering if I'm living up to my own expectations and if I'm like if I'm being a good person and if I'm living up to like my own purpose here and I know that I'm a good person and I know that my purpose is like found in every day but overthink literally everything Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Lacey Jane and thank you so much for joining me today. The clip that I had posted at the beginning of this video was from earlier this morning. So as you can see, things have transpired since then and I was able to kind of get through what I was going through in the moment. What I was able to do was I was able to journal and kind of figure out like what was actually going on inside of me. And I don't think that I effectively kind of <laughs> communicated to the camera what was going on but after journaling I realized that a lot of it was kind of just like self-acceptance and learning to not only just like love myself but like myself it's kind of a question that's been coming up a lot for me lately is like do I like who I am do I love who I am and do I accept who I am fully and wholeheartedly because a lot of that is self-love in itself is just learning how to accept who you are and who you had to be in order to become who you are while you also reach to become the person that you want to become. And I realized that my life path, my life purpose is overall like the theme of my life. I've come to realize is self-love is accepting myself and loving myself. That is the number one goal that has to come above everything else. And so I started journaling and I was just like thinking about, you know, the person that I had to be in order to be this person. Every single time I sit and I think like, do I like myself and do I accept myself? And am I proud of myself of, of where I am and, and, and who I am and who I had to be? That's that's watering down the present moment. That's watering down like who I am now. And I'm not really giving myself credit when I don't accept myself who I am because who I am now, I know that 10 years ago, I would never actually recognize this person because I've changed so much. And I feel myself with each passing day changing. And it seems like it's like speeding up. Like I feel like sometimes I can't even catch up to all the changes that are happening within me because it's happening so rapidly and that's one thing that really happens when you're on a spiritual transformation and you're on a journey to 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 love yourself and to better yourself and to become someone that you are really proud of being is you're constantly evolving and once you you know hit that that speed it's just like it, it keeps going and you keep learning about yourself and that's not the point of this video the point is really that as i started journaling you know, we often find these outlets and for me, journaling and writing is really a big outlet for me. I'm able to like categorize maybe my thoughts and, and figure out what's really happening. And so oftentimes with these outlets, that's how spirit speaks to us. And that's how spirit kind of sinks in and, and settles us and settles our heart. And as I started writing, I started just to feel this overwhelming presence of love and acceptance kind of come kind of come through for me and um oh <laughs> it's emotional in here all day all the time but I started to feel this overwhelming just like acceptance for myself but also I started thinking about how you know I look at myself and I wrote this down like I look at myself like I'm just this kind of tiny little speck 
and, and I hate that I wrote these words, but I, I wrote that I feel oftentimes like I'm just this tiny little useless, worthless, like, n like no purpose speck on the planet, just like, just taking up space. And that's how I view myself sometimes. I know I hate to say it like as, as positive as I can be as much work as I can do. I, I still have these faulty moments where I'm like thinking of myself, like, why am I even here? But meanwhile, all the while, you know, the universe, God, spirit, source, whatever you want to call it, is looking at us through this lens of, oh my God, you are so perfect and divinely created and, and purposeful and you're supposed to be here. And I have so much love for you and I accept you as you are and who you are and you have no idea how big your purpose truly is here. Oftentimes we forget that like, you know, we're sitting here and we're looking at one step, not realizing that there is a whole, a whole staircase there, but we have no idea We're we're focused on the one step and yeah, it's just one step, but it leads to so much more. And, and I'm still struggling to find like every, every day purpose in every day, like finding gratitude in every single day and being thankful for who I am right now because that's a big lesson in my life as of lately is just like being thankful for the woman that I am right now even though I still strive to be you know the the I the woman that I have in the future the one that I am aspiring to be but I can't discredit myself and I can't discredit all of this work that I've done in the past to become her and I think that oftentimes we just forget that spirit is just constantly just guiding us like a little child we are just guiding us with a, a very gentle hand on our back like it's okay like you know keep moving forward um there is so much love for you here and then on the other side of that i'm going on a rant on the other side of that i often think too about like what would my grandparents say about because that's how we have to think about the universe think about god think about what's in store for us if you have a dog what would you say to your dog you would talk to your dog like oh i love you so much i'm doing everything i can to protect you you have no idea the big day that you're gonna have and how important you are in my life and and then you think about your grandparents like what would your grandparents say and that's what spirit is just like there's just like so much energy of spirit here for us that's constantly protecting us that's constantly like loving us and and trying to show us through signs and synchronicity and messages and um and I found that through journaling divinity comes through it comes through for me and so if there is something that you can can find as your outlet that you can really feel spirit coming through I recommend doing that whenever you are having low moments like I am and you are feeling like what am I doing here do I love myself like there is love for you here and that's that's really that's really just the rant that I wanted to go on and and share with you guys is that when you do feel alone um you are never you are never truly alone you know there's so much energy and so much so much love for you here like my friend Abraham Hicks always says there is great love for you here I hope that made your day a little bit. I hope you guys are having a really good day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.